wake up I feel cozy, yeah Can you hold up? Don't need no coffee yet Got no makeup Welcome back to my channel Today I'm going to discuss about solving quadratic equation by using quadratic formula Let us have now an example Example number one, find the roots or zeros of x squared minus x minus 12 equals zero by using quadratic formula. Okay, we have here a solution. Okay, if we use quadratic formula, then we are going to identify first the values of a, the values of b, and the value of c in the equation. Here, the value of a is equal to 1, and the value of b is equal to negative 1, and the value of c is is equal to negative 12. Then write now the, the formula. x equals negative b plus and minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Then you are going to substitute the value of a, the value of b, and the value of c in the formula. So we have here x equals, copy the negative sign, and then substitute the value of b here. The value of b is negative 1. So here have negative 1. Okay. Plus and minus. The square root of our b is negative 1. Copy squared. Minus 4. What is the value of a? The value of a is 1. Times the value of c. It's negative 12. Okay. All over 2 times the value of a here is equal to 1. That's by substitution. Okay? Then, let's continue here. x equals negative times negative, that's positive. So we have positive 1 plus and minus. Okay? Copy the square root symbol. Negative 1 squared is 1. Okay? Then multiply these three numbers here. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 12, that is positive 48. So we have plus 48 all over, multiply here 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, so we have your x equals 1 plus and minus. Square root of, you're going to add 1 and 48, the answer is 49. Okay, and then all over 2. Then x equals, copy 1, copy plus and minus. What is the square root of 49? 49 is a perfect square number, right? So the square root of 49 is 7. Yeah, 7 all over 2. So we have two values of x here. x equals 1 plus 7 over 2. And the other one, x equals 1 minus 7 all over 2. And you separated the plus and the minus. Okay? Here we have 1 plus 7, that's 8, over 2. And 8 over 2 is equal to 4. So 4 is one of the values of x. Then here, the other side, x equals 1 minus 7 is negative 6 over 2. Negative 6 divided 2, the answer is negative 3. So the roots or zeros of this equation x squared minus x minus 12 equals 0 are 4 and negative <coughs> This equation is factorable. We can solve this one by factoring. We can also solve this one by using completing the square. So it's up to you what method you're going to use. If you are if you are if you mastered factoring, then you use factoring. If you mastered completing the square, then you use completing the square. If you mastered by using quadratic formula, then use quadratic formula. Okay? Have another example.
Example number two. What are the roots of 2x squared minus 3x minus 2 equals 0? By using quadratic formula. So we have here the solution. Again, let us identify the value of a, the value of b, and the value of c in our equation. Here, the value of a is equal to 2, and the value of b is negative 3, the value of c is negative 2. Then write the equation, and then write the formula x equals negative b plus and minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2. Okay? Then substitute x equals negative, the value of b here is negative 3 plus and minus square root of b squared, that's our b is negative 3 squared minus copy 4. What is the value of a? That's 2 times what is the value of c? That is negative 2 all over that's 2 times the value of a is 2. Okay, let us continue here. x equals negative times negative that is positive. So we have positive 3 plus and minus. Copy the squared symbol. Negative 3 squared is 9. Then multiply the numbers here. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. Negative 8 times negative 2 that is positive. 16 all over 2 times 2 that is equal to 4 simplify x equals 3 plus and minus 9 plus 16 is 25 9 plus 16 is equal to 25 all over 4 okay so you have x equals 3 plus and minus the square root of 25 is 5 5 over 4 So we have two values of x here x equals 3 plus 5 over 4 and the other one x equals 3 minus 5 over 4 Okay, then we are going to add here 3 plus 5 is 8 over 4 and 8 over 4 is equal to 2 on the other side, x equals 3 minus 5 is negative 2 over 4. Then x equals negative 1 half. These are the two values of x2 and negative 1 half. These are the roots of 2x squared minus 3x minus 2 equals 0. We have another example. Let us have an example number 3. What are the roots of n squared minus n minus 6 equals 0? By using quadratic formula. Solution. Do not forget to identify the value of a, b, and c. The value of a here is equal to 1. The value of b is negative 1. The value of c is negative 6. Then let us use the quadratic formula. Since our variable that we use in our equation is n, so x here will be changed to n. So we have n equals negative b plus and minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Then substitute n equals negative, what is b? b is negative 1 plus and minus the square root of Okay, Neg b is negative 1, negative 1 squared minus 4 times the value of a is 1, the value of a is 1, times the value of c which is equal to negative 6, okay, negative 6 all over 2 times the value of a is equal to 1. And so n equals negative times negative, that's positive, so we have positive 1. Copy plus and minus. Copy the squared symbol. 
negative 1 squared is positive 1. And then multiplying these three numbers here, negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 times negative 6, that is positive 24. Positive 24 all over 2 times 1, that is equal to 2. So your n equals 1 plus and minus. Add the two numbers here inside the square root symbol. We have 25 all over 2. Then n equals 1 plus and minus. Square root of 25 is 5 because 5 is a perfect square number all over 2. Two values of n here. n equals 1 plus 5 over 2. And the other one, n equals 1 minus 5 all over 2. Okay. Simplify. 1 plus 5 is 6. Is divided by 2, n equals 3. This is one of the values of n. And the other side, 1 minus 5 is negative 4 over 2. When you divide the two numbers, n equals 3. Divide negative 4 by 2, the answer is negative 2. So therefore, the roots of n squared minus n minus 6 equals 0 are 3 and negative 2. Okay? That is how we are going to solve quadratic equation by using quadratic formula. If you are going to use quadratic formula, do not forget to identify the value of a, the value of b, and the value of c in the given quadratic equation. And then substitute this given in our quadratic formula. That's all and thank you for watching. I hope you learned something in my topic today and good day.